Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I wanted to talk about this video and obviously I saw it in the news like we do here in the channel. And I gotta tell you, you know, when when I'm watching this, sometimes I, I really get kind of like upset in a way because, you know, and again, you know, I, sh I guess I shouldn't get like that. But sometimes, you know, when I see like a, a, a young kid, little girl running for her life while two dirtbags are kicking on the door, it's just something inside of me that kind of gets like upset about it. And you know what? I don't ever wish to be in that situation, but I hate to see little young girls getting into those type of situations, right? Because it's just horrific. I can just picture or I just can think about what they're thinking, you know. And in the past, I, I talked about this. Stacy, my wife, she found herself in that situation back when she was a young girl as well, you know, where people were breaking into the house. And again, you know, she found herself in the same situation. I mean, it's a whole story about this. But here's the thing, you know, I've been preaching about cameras a lot. And I got cameras in my house. Obviously, I put a link down below if you guys want to support the channel. I use some cameras called Arlo. And again, they may not be the best ones out there. They work well for what I do. And that's the only experience that I have when it comes to like civilian uh cameras but you know i i seen guys with the with the door ring bell or whatever it is doorbell um that seems to be really good this is i think this is what these people had but again you know i've been preaching about cameras because cameras allow you to see the outside right the outside thread while you inside your house and essentially this is what happened in this house you know and and the two guys are kicking the door you know i'm gonna play a little bit of the video right now as she was running out the one who had the gun asked the other one if they wanted them to shoot her thankfully the men didn't shoot so again i'm going to link this video down below if you want to watch the whole news obviously i'm not going to play the whole thing here because you know youtube and all that stuff but a couple things that i've been seeing since i've been doing this type of videos usually is multiple suspects it's something that i'm constantly seeing on this videos that I've been doing, right? So obviously multiple suspects tells me that my home defense plan needs to be a, a plan that is well developed, right? Some of you guys know what I'm saying. You really need to understand what a self-defense or home defense plan and have the proper tools for it. That's why we're talking about a, a firearm, right? Obviously, some of you guys can carry a gun. I get that all the time. Well, I can't have a gun. Well, I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you in that situation. Obviously, like I said in the past, weapons or opportunities and things like that but if you can have a gun the best thing to do is to have a gun but not only have a gun he's having the proper gun for for the job right obviously multiple suspects constantly seeing that so now that tells me that i need to have a good firearm a, a firearm that is reliable dependable that works well that have a great capacity i need to have a flashlight again you know things like that like i carry an mmp9 core uh, here for home defense, you know, we also have a Glock 19. Sometimes I pull out my Glock 17 for home defense, right? If it gets really bad, obviously, you know, I got an AR-15 and all that stuff. But typically, I got my MMP9 next to me, and that's kind of what I have. And I do like the MMPs more than the Glocks, by the way. I don't want to start any drama, but that it is what it is. So again, you know, cameras is really good because as these people are kicking the door, this girl actually gets a notification to her phone and she's able to make decisions based on what her seeing. Apparently it was a little dog and the little dog is flipping out, barking, you know, doing his thing, uh, trying to protect the little girl. And he actually, or she, I don't know if it was a he or, or she, uh, maybe it's in the middle. I don't know how the dog identify himself, but whatever it is uh again you know the dog apparently got shot and even after he got shot he continued to protect her owner which to me that's just amazing you know i should tell you the power of the dogs right it was a little dog and they're great because to me little dogs make a lot of noise all i need is my dog to make some noise for me to wake up and get my gun so you know she sees that and as you saw in the video she could see the the bad guys kicking on the door and then she just run away or run for her life and you know that's gonna be a really crappy feeling guys when you're just running 
because you don't know what to do. You don't have a way to defend yourself, but obviously kudos on her, you know, whatever way you could put or whatever distance you could put between you and the threat, it, it's just what you got to do. And that's something that I have to tell my children, you know, say if something bad happened, you run, you need to put distance between the bad guy and you, right? Put as much distance as you can. Just take off running and you know uh, later on we figure out what you add or whatever but you need to take off running because you want to put distance between the bad guys especially if the bad guy has a weapon so here's the thing two guys make entry to the house and at one point one of the guy the guy that has a gun actually asked the other guy when he sees the girl if hey should i shoot or not kind of there was a conversation that took place and obviously the little girl or, or the young girl took off running and exited the house and, and just left right and to me you know what it's crazy because I, again you know in, in this case obviously it was a young girl there, there's a lot more that comes into the play but for you out there establishing a home defense plan we never want to give that choice to the bad guy we really don't want to give him the choice of, of being at his mercy right we're trying to have a system that allows us to defend ourselves because very very easy the guy could have said no shoot the girl and boom done she's done right so we don't we don't want to be in that type of situation we want to be in a situation that we have a little bit of an advantage that's why we're talking about having cameras that's why we're talking about some people have a dog that's why we're talking about having the proper firearm the proper plan because when it happens you want to be able to be ready right you want to be able to react to that situation and not kind of be at the mercy of the criminals right criminals are bad people right in, in this case that worked out okay, but what about if the bad guy would have said something else, right? He could have easily grabbed the girl, do whatever he wants with her, and again, you know, that happens, and that's just not something that, that we wanna be. We don't wanna have a plan that is at the mercy of the bad guy. We want to have a plan that is going to allow us to defeat the bad guy. So in this case, guys, I'm actually glad that the girl is okay. You know, if somebody kicks my door, we could repair the door, but losing a member of your family is just devastating, right? So again, you know, we need to establish a home defense plan. And in this case, I think this family was kind of thinking about it just by having those cameras. It, it worked out really well because at least they have a picture, they have video of the people that they could utilize to give it to the police and track him and all that stuff. Like I say, I'm a big fan of cameras. I'm gonna put some links down below. Let me know what you think, put comments down below, and as always, God is in control.